Welcome to Wood Tick. No treads are hunting zone. Nice stick. Nice stick. Steaming weenies, twenty feet. Nice. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Nice. He's back! Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh no. Not this story again. How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't feel right. What's this about an embargo? The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. <sighs> Do you guys know any piratey songs? Sure, Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab than a Scab on a pirate. And if you listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly. The weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about Scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no jail in which to ride. That was beautiful. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left?
International House of Mojo. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. be yo-yo string. I'll just take a little. Display model. It appears to be bolted to the table. Fruit cocktail in heavy syrup. They're unlabeled. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Brush three wood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Lago's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take this shopping list. Thanks. Now go. Great recipes from the International House of Mojo. Page 139. Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. No trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. It's 
Dan's Cozy Crypt, a place to spend eternity, not a fortune. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. The Quagmires, no trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. Stan's Casual Crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. Stan's Casual Crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. Stan's Casual Crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. It looks like it's been sealed shut, but then again, why would I want to go in there? The Grave of the Unknown Pirate. The Grave of the Unknown Cabin Boy. The Grave of the Unknown Drunk Guy we found face down in his own vomit on the beach. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is, he's dead. The bad news is, he bred. Nice! Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is, he's dead. The bad news is, he bred. There once was a girl named Carrie, who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed, she got buried. No man commanded jean louise Not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. Here lie the Gordo brothers. Too big for any ship. Let's hope the Earth can hold them. The Grouts. No trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. It says, and I quote, Captain Dread's ship charters. 20 pieces of eight. Inquire within. <laughs> 